So at this point, uh, probably a good time to put in um, my derailleur hanger. So this guy right here, they give you a bolt as well. To ensure proper alignment of the derailleur hanger when installing, slide derailleur hanger into the through axle, loosely thread it. Okay, so that's gonna help us guide it. So use your through axle that they gave you. Hope this music's not too loud. And that is for the front. Let's get the rear. All right, so I'm gonna be using the through axle as a guide to line up our derailleur hanger. Take our little bolt out, very similar to a chain ring bolt. So just get the orientation correct. We have that ledge, we want it to be sitting here, facing like this, so when we put our derailleur on, hanger on it, it's gonna come down and sit like that. So ledge is facing up. Perfect uh, shape to slide it right into. I'm gonna go ahead and screw that guy in. And just finger tight for that through axle. Then we come back with our, our actual bolt for the hanger. We're gonna put a little bit of a blue thread locker on there. Be super careful with this stuff, just a dab. I'm just gonna put like one drop it's so watery that it's gonna spread around. We just don't wanna go crazy with this stuff because it will cause problems. It could be too tight to take it off with a hand tool because it's just caked up real bad. Uh, see if there's a torque setting for this. I'm just gonna do this finger snug right now. Let's see, use through axle install derailleur. So, so five Newton meters. So either you're good at, uh, you're snugging up with your hand, which I feel pretty comfortable, but um, why not? So that was a five millimeter Allen tool. We're gonna just snug that puppy up. We're gonna go to five as recommended. Now we can go ahead and take our through axle out. And we're gonna put in our wheel. So here we got a 160 rotor. Boom, fits in there. Fits in there, that's a, that's a start. So I think we're looking pretty good right there. 